today we will talk about von willebrand disease first we will define von willebrand disease von willebrand disease is most common inherited bleeding disorder characterized by an deficiency or dysfunction of a protein called von willebrand factor which impair the blood's ability to clot properly so from where uh, von willebrand factor release von willebrand factor release from vascular endothelial cells and from vascular endothelial cells Webel pellet bodies uh, and platelets uh, in which alpha granules which release a uh, non willebrand factor. So, to understand the pathophysiology of von willebrand disease, uh, when there is injury of uh, uh, blood vessels, it release a uh, von willebrand factor attached to collagen as well as platelets with the help of glycoprotein 1B. Activated platelets attract other platelets and form platelets plug. You see a formation of platelets plug with the help of receptor GP2B and 3A. If you don't have up, if, if there is a deficiency of one willebrand factor, uh, so these one willebrand factor uh, not form platelets plug lead to increased bleeding time. Types of one willebrand disease type 1 which is most common type of von Willebrand disease. Um, it mild to moderate deficiency of von Willebrand factor. Type 2 which is further divided into type 2A, type 2B, type 2M and the last one is type 2N. Type 1B which decreases the function of von Willebrand factor due to mutation. Type 2B, von Willebrand factor having increased affinity to uh, platelets lead to more and more clumps with decreased platelets. Type 2M, there is a qualitative defect in von Willebrand factor which impairs its ability to function properly. Type 2N, in this type impair von Willebrand uh, factor binding with factor 8 although von Willebrand factor is normal. So here is an important concept, one willebrand factor prevent factor 8 from activated protein C. One willebrand factor prevent degradation and increase half-life of factor 8 by activated protein C. So if there is a, a problem of uh, uh, one willebrand factor or decrease one willebrand factor, so it decrease half-life of factor 8 which lead to yeah, which affect to intrinsic pathway of coagulation so important concept is that in intrinsic pathway increase aptt and extrinsic pathway increase pt in the uh, uh, in one willebrand a factor increase aptt clinical presentation in clinical presentation uh, first recurrent and prolonged mucosal bleeding epistaxis, gum bleeding and menorrhagia. Bleeding after uh, dental procedures, minor surgeries, so diagnosis. In diagnosis, labs first, uh, bleeding time uh, which is BT increase, APTT increase, PT normal, platelets count normal, one willebrand uh, factor antigen level decrease may be present. Now we will discuss about restocetin. Restocetin is an uh, antibiotic previously used to treat streptococcal infection. It not it it is not longer used clinically because it causes thrombocytopenia and platelets agglutination. Restocetin cofactor assay here is an uh, um, animation presentation of Restocetin cofactor assay. Restocetin bind one willebrand factor with glycoprotein 1B uh, initiate the initial agglutination phase of uh, um, aggregation of live platelets. So, if uh, there is a problem of one willebrand factor or uh, glycoprotein 1B, so it may uh, um, indicate abnormal restocetin assay or REPA. 
So if there is a problem of von Willebrand factor, so it may cause to von Willebrand disease or problem occur in uh, glycoprotein 1b, so it called to Bernard Solar syndrome. So in uh, type 2b, help to diagnose the that variant of von Willebrand disease as we study earlier in this type. It increase affinity of one willebrand to bind with glycoprotein uh, uh, 1b so we add restocetin increase for agglutination so treatment for mild to moderate disease use desmopressin uh, uh, mechanism of action of uh, desmopressin so it act on the vessel endothelial and release one willebrand factor which store in endothelium and also in platelets uh, which release von Willebrand factor from platelets right oral contraceptive pills used for menorrhagia so use factor 8 replacement or von Willebrand factor concentrate for severe disease so avoid these drugs aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs thanks for watching if you like my videos please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon